Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to solve a question from 2017 Nectar Form 4 and it is question 11. Question says, Zilda wants to buy oranges and mangoes for her children. The oranges are sold at 150 shillings each and mangoes are sold at 200 shillings each. She must buy at least two of each kind of fruit, but her shopping bag cannot take more than 10 fruits. If the owner of the shop makes a profit of 40 shillings on each orange and 60 shillings on each mango, determine how many fruits of each kind Zilda must buy for the shop owner to realize maximum profit. So obviously this is a linear programming uh, question and we need to find what the optimal values are. So in order to do that you need to start by uh, defining your variables. So let x be equal to number of oranges. Okay, and let y be equal to number of mangoes. And the next thing you want to do is look for your uh, constraints. So constraints are your restrictions. Uh, in this case, you're told uh, Zilda must buy at least two of each kind of fruit. So this means x has to be greater or equal to 2. And also y has to be greater or equal to 2. And what else do you have? Well, her small bag cannot take more than 10 fruits. So she can take up to two, uh, 10 uh, or less, but not more. So that means the number of oranges plus the number of mango has to be uh, less or equal to 10. So we have these constraints. Uh, we need to use them and see how this shop owner is going to maximize his profit. Right then, so um, what else do we need to do? Well, we need to know what we need to maximize. Uh, so we need to maximize. Uh, so this is our objective. We need to maximize uh, how many oranges he's going to sell, uh, how many mangoes he's going to sell, because that's how we know or how much profit he can uh, maximize. So 40 for each orange, 40 shillings, uh, times the number of oranges. So that's going to be 40x. That's the profit he will make for selling oranges. Plus the profit he'll make for selling mangoes is going to be 60y. So his profit times the number of mangoes. This is our objective, okay? We need to maximize this expression here. Okay, so we then need to go and graph this inequality and to f uh, and find what the optimal points are. First one and second are easy because they're just straight lines. So uh, we're going to draw a line x greater or equal to 2. So x greater or equal to 2 is right here. So you go to x equals 2 and just draw a nice uh, straight line. Okay, and then you are going to say which direction do we need? Well, um, has to be greater or equal to 2. So we now just mark them for now. We know that's the region that we're interested for that. Then the next one we need is y is greater or equal to 2. Then we go to y equal 2 and draw another line because it's just a horizontal line. Okay, again, um, which direction do we need? Uh, we need this direction because that is the direction where y is equal to or greater than 2. Okay, so make sure your lines when you draw are, you know, like, accurate because my mouse keep moving um so we need that side of the line and the last one is x plus y less or equal to 10 and all we have to do is you is just graph this um create a small table for 
uh, to create coordinates. So all you have to do is make x0 and y0 and find what y should be. So uh, when you draw a table x plus y equals 10. So when x is 0, y is 10. When y is 0, x is 10. We go up here, we've got two coordinates, that's all you need. x is 0, y is 10 over here. And x is 10, y is 0 is over here. Okay, again, grab your pencil and ruler and draw a nice line over there. Okay, now this one, uh, you need to know which so which side do you need? Do you need that side or this side? Well, you need to pick a point and then test it. So I'm just going to pick an easy point, this one, 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to test 4-4 four, four and see if that inequality is uh, true. So if I put x equals 4 and add 4, I get 8. 8 is less than 10. So yes, I'm happy with that side. So that means I need this side. So finally now you can decide which is the region that you're happy with. Well, we need this region, okay? That's the region that satisfies all inequalities. And because they all have equal in them, so the intersection points are also included. So you've got the inequality sign with the equal. So that means we can take those points. Okay, uh, this region here is called feasible region. So just in case you get asked, feasible region. It's the region that satisfy all the inequalities, all three inequalities. So what's the next thing we need to do? Why did we draw this? Well, we need to optimize this here. Okay, this formula. And how do we do that? Well, we select the points of intersection. So we got one there, and we got one over here, and we've got one over here. So let's just say, what are they? Well, we're going to put down X and Y. So X and Y. For the first one, X is, um, X is two and Y is eight. So two and eight. For the next one, x is this one here x is 8 and y is 2 so 8 2 and for this one here x is 2 and y is 2 so we've got those values they are called optimal values and now we're going to um test our um our objective formula which is 40x plus 60y and all you have to do now is just substitute that into these so when x is 2 you get 80 and 8 times 6 is 480 so the answer for that is 560 when x is 8 you get uh, 320 and um when y is 2, 120, so that gives you 440. And the last one then, that gives you 200. So out of these values of x, which ones give this shop owner the maximum profit? Well, when this customer, Zilda, buys two oranges and eight mangoes. So uh, these are your value that would maximize profit so in order to get maximum profit so for maximum profit uh, the shopkeeper needs to sell uh, need to sell two oranges and eight mangoes okay i hope this has helped you so thank you for watching and um see you again